before importing your meshes inside Substance Painter, it's highly recommended to apply vertex color and ID maps to your meshes. So inside lesson number nine, we will learn how to do this. What have you done? I don't know. I have an idea. So in lesson 9, we'll see how we can apply some additional uh, materials, okay. Now we have here dotted plastic. Now this dotted plastic, I want this to apply on all different kind of buttons, okay. So first of all, we'll see what kind of buttons we have here in the front case, uh, like casing, okay. So we have, we actually do not have uh, let, let me do one thing. Let me hide all of them except for the front casing. So we know what do we uh, what we are looking for. Okay. So we actually don't have anything here as buttons in the front casing. It's all the frames. Okay. So let's go to the middle casing. In the middle casing also, we don't actually have any kind of buttons. Okay. Let's see back casing. In the back casing also we don't have any kind of buttons over here everything is just like a metal piece or something like that okay so i will uncheck this one now let's see tv parts tv parts yes full of buttons okay now there are some buttons there are some tv antennas so buttons uh, and then we have this rotators okay now, buttons and rotators, let's see what kind of IDs they have here. So if I will go to the IDs here, you will see orange. Okay. So these are the orange one. And while when uh, while I was applying the vertex color, so the thing that uh, was in my mind was to apply a same material to these, this, this, this. And this, that's why I kept all of them orange. So if I will apply, uh, for example, a dotted plastic to this one or to this one, so uh, uh, it will be applied on the rest of the others as well because they all are following the same vertex, okay, well, same vertex color. So let me go back in the material mode, okay. And now I will press Control on my keyboard, take the dotted plastic, and once I will move, I will start seeing the vertex colors, which are, which are my ID maps. And I will choose this one, which is basically the orange. As soon as I will apply, you will see all the one that were following that orange uh, color vertex ID, the map ID are now, follow, uh, are now having the dotted plastic effect. Okay. So I can do some changings over here uh, because I don't want them to look exactly like the way they are right now. So let me zoom into any one of these. Okay. Don't worry about this. This is the reason because I'm, if I will go to my texture set settings and if I will go a little bit up here in the general properties, I'm using 1024. If I will increase it, so it will be fine. But as you know, the computer becomes a little slower. So that's why I kept it a little low. Now, what I will do, I will just simply click on this folder of the daughter plastic. I will go to the pla uh, plastic mat pure. Okay. And here I have my all the different kind of like settings I have. First of all, I have UV projection, which I can change to triplanar. Okay. And as soon as I will do that, you can see that there is a big bounding box, unlike what it was before. Okay. Because now, all these are inside this bounding box. That's why it's just bigger. Okay, so it's not a single object. It's all this pack. So we're just fine. Okay, so I don't have to worry about. I can change the size from here, but as this is a big bounding box, so I will change the size of these dots from here. Maybe I will uh, keep it 
uh, 50 or maybe let's go with 35 first. Uh, I think 35 is fine. Okay, I can rotate this. But it's not making much of a difference, so I will keep it as it is. Now there is hardness. So hardness also is not giving me some kind of changes, so I will keep it as it is as well. Now base color. I don't want the base color to be uh, kind of a grayish. Okay, let's make it a little bit more dark. Uh, very, make it black, at least a little, little uh, blackish, not 100% black. 0 0.005 grayness is there but it's darker okay darker than the uh metal casing uh option here so if i will uncheck uh if i will unhide this you can see that this is a little lighter this is a little darker which is i think good okay so this is i will keep it as uh as this and i think it's fine now okay now other thing i want to drop over here if i will go back to my ids here Orange is done. Now the next thing which is left is the green. Okay. Now green basically, I want them to be uh, like metallic. Okay. Now there are a lot of metallic uh, materials inside my shelf already in Substance Painter. So you don't have to worry about. So what I will do here is that let me go back to uh, normal. Material so like mode so I have to press M on my keyboard so it will bring okay and then I will go to the shelf and then I will go to the material and I have to search for any sort of material over here I have iron I don't want iron let me type here steel I have here steel rough okay so that is good but to have some kind of a roughness okay so it will uh, it looks like an old uh, like a uh, material so I want some this kind of effect. That's why I'm using dark plastic, dotted plastic, so it will not look new. So this is good, steel rough. So I will press Control on my keyboard and drag this to the uh, this green uh, ID. And as soon as I will drop it, you can see that it's there. The resolution is a little lower uh, because, as I told you before, I'm using 0.024. Uh, once you will increase it, it will be fine. Also, if you will zoom out, it will not be that bad. Okay. Now here you can see it is applied. Okay. Here you can see it is applied as well. Now one more thing I can do here is that I can adjust this. Okay. This is I think the best uh, element from which I can adjust. Okay. So I will keep my viewport on this and I will uh, go to my material mode over here and you can see here I have uh, my whole thing. Let me scroll up. Here again is UV projection, and you can see clearly here I have a seam coming up, which is which is not looking good. So to avoid that, I will use again triplanar. As soon as you will do that, you have this, but the size will become bigger, okay? Because it is counting the whole all these objects as a one object. So once I will do that, I will try to change the size, increase it. It will become a little small. I think I made it a little, little quite too big. Five is fine. Okay. So this is how you can get a good uh, old steel look over here. Okay. So, so now we are done with this. Now if I will go back to my ID again, you will see that there are some maroonish IDs as well over here, which is left now. Now, I don't want to play with this maroonish at this stage because if I will unhide the TV back casing texture set, this is also maroon. So I decided uh, before that whatever material will be on this back casing, the same material will be on these. That's why I made them maroon as well. But if I will apply anything over here, okay, it will not affect the back casing. Why? Because TV parts is a separate, uh, like texture set list, and back casing is separate. But the reason I kept the same color is that so I know, okay, this is what I want it to be as uh, like same as the back casing. So that's why I kept the uh, maroon color so that I remember that these two are similar. That's why they should have the same. But if I will apply something over here, it will not affect the back casing because 
the texture list is separate. So in order to do whatever we did right now, and we got same materials on all of these, the reason was that it was in a one uh, like texture set. They were not in different texture set. It, they were in one. That's why we were able to do it. So in order to do apply on same thing, you may have to make sure they all are in one. Okay. So we are done with this part. Let's go to the other one, which is part two. Okay. And then if I will go to the uh, like ID, let's see what we have here. Okay. We have here quite a different sort of thing here. Uh, we have here all these maroon. So we will not play with this one, but I will surely uh, apply something here. Okay. Now to do that, what I need to do is I have to go back to my material mode here or press M on my keyboard. So this is what I want to apply uh, something over here. Okay. Now I can go back here, type here plastic. Okay. And I have here different kind of plastics here. I have plastic grainy. Okay. So I think plastic grainy is good. I will take the plastic grainy and press control key and drop on this one, the green one. This is the only green one, so it will only affect this one, but you can see it looks very ugly because uh, the grain is too huge. So I have to adjust the size. Maybe let's see 25. 25 is, I think, too much. 10, no, 15, yeah, 15. Okay, yeah, 15 is fine. So I'll keep it 15. So it's fine. Don't worry about this. This is ambient occlusion shadows. So if I will uncheck the other parts, then you will be uh, you will be able to look at these. Okay, so that's fine. Now if I will go back here in the part TV part two, and go to the I uh, sorry TV parts, which is this regular one, and go to the ID. So you can see that these one. Let me hide part two. These one also have the same sort of color. Okay. So in actual, if I press M on my keyboard, you can see that these, okay, and this one where I applied are the same ID color, but they, uh, but when I applied this uh, grainy plastic over here, it didn't affect this. The reason was that they were in separate texture list. Uh, it would be good if I have uh, added them in one, but uh, it's okay for now. So I can simply take this one. Okay, press control key, make sure I'm in the TV part so I can apply on these. Control and then select these and quickly it will be applied. Now it is, uh, now it have the same issue. So what I will do, I will apply the same setting here, number five, uh, 15. So 15 will be applied over here. So now I'm all good to go with this. Okay, now here I have TV tube. So if I will go to the TV tube, so TV tube basically is inside and I don't want to apply anything over here as a smart material because it will be hardly visible. So what I can do here is that I can go to my TV tube here, make a new fill layer, okay, from here. And then I can change the color of this fill layer to black, okay, done. And I don't want any height. I don't want any roughness. I don't want any metal I don't want any normal okay or I could press instead of one by one I could press alt on my keyboard or if you're using Mac um, uh, Apple on your keyboard and click the color so it will only isolate this one I think now I'm fine with the TV tube okay so for now uh, we are good to go so I hope you guys now have understood uh, the real concept of the map IDs vertex IDs so hopefully by uh, next class, we will learn more about this, okay? And we will apply more and more materials and you will get more ideas how to apply such, uh, like, you know, more, uh, like create your own smart materials and start applying. So guys, uh, thanks for watching all my videos. Thanks for all your subscription. But please view my videos uh, online. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe right now. Click on the bell icon and we'll meet in the next class. Take care, everyone. Mm -hmm.